In today's video, I'm going to show you how to download and install shaders for Minecraft 1.21.4 or any other version on your Mac. Before we get started, it's important to note that you will need to have Java installed to your Mac. So if you don't have it already, I will leave that tutorial linked in the description below. The first thing you need to do is to download the correct Minecraft files so we can install the Fabric modding platform and shaders later on. To do this, you want to open your Minecraft launcher and then you want to select the Minecraft version you want to install shaders for. For this example, it's going to be 1.21.4. Once Minecraft has opened, it means the files are being installed correctly, so we want to click on Quit Game, and now we can go ahead and download Fabric. To download Fabric, we first need to open our web browser, and you want to go to fabricmc.net, and I'll leave this website linked in the description below. From here, you want to click on the Download button, and then you want to click on Download Installer. And for this example, I'm going to download the installer to my desktop. We also need to download the Fabric API so our mods can work correctly. So to do that you want to click on the Fabric API link just below. And this will take us to the CurseForge website. From here you want to click on the Files tab. And now we want to scroll down and you want to find the correct version of the Fabric API for our Minecraft version. So for this example we are downloading Fabric for Minecraft 1.21.4. Once we've selected it you want to scroll down and then you want to click on the Download button. After a few seconds the download will automatically start. So for this example, I'm going to download the Fabric API to my desktop. Now we've downloaded the Fabric Installer and the Fabric API, we just need to download the mods that allows us to run shaders. So to do this, you want to open your web browser, and you want to go to any modding platform of your choice, and for this example, we are going to use modroof.com. From here, you want to click on Discover Mods, and in this menu here, you want to find Iris Shaders, and click into that. From here, you want to click on the Versions tab, and then you want to select the correct version for your Minecraft version. So for this example, it's going to be 1.21.4, and it's going to be the Fabric version. So we're going to click into that, and then you want to click on the Download button, and again, I'm going to download this to my desktop. The next mod we need to install is Sodium. So to do this, again, you want to go to your web browser and go to modroof.com, and again, you want to click on Discover Mods. Now you want to find the Sodium mod, which should be near the top, and again, we just want to click on the versions tab. And again, we just need to find the correct version for our Minecraft version. So it's going to be 1.21.4 and it's going to be the fabric version. From here, you want to click on the download button. And again, I'm going to save it to my desktop. The final thing we need to download are the shaders themselves. So to do this, you want to open your web browser. And again, I'm going to use modroof.com. From here, I'm going to click on discover mods. And then at the very top here, I'm going to choose the Shaders tab. Now you want to select from any of these shaders you want to download. For this example though, I'm going to download the complementary shaders. Once we've selected it, again you want to click on the Versions tab. And then you want to select the version for your Minecraft version. So as you can see, the top one here supports 1.21.x, which means it supports any version in the 1.21 Minecraft. And because we downloaded the Iris mod earlier, its listed platform is Iris. So once we're ready, you want to select that version. And again, you want to select the download button. And again, I'm going to save this to my desktop. Now we have everything downloaded, we just need to go ahead and install Fabric. So to do this, you want to open the Fabric installer we downloaded earlier. And if you get this error message, you want to click on done. And it says you want to right click and then click on open. Again, if you get this error message, you want to click on done. And then you want to select the Apple logo in the top left hand corner and select system settings. Once you're inside your system settings, you want to scroll down until you find privacy and security. From here, you want to scroll all the way to the bottom and you'll see the Minecraft Fabric Installer listed. So we're going to click on Open Anyway. Now in the pop-up menu, you're going to select Open Anyway and you may need to use your Mac password or Touch ID. When the Fabric Installer opens up, it will look like this. So all we need to do is to make sure we're on the Client tab at the very top and for the Minecraft version, we want to be on 1.21.4 or whichever version you're using shaders for. For the loader version, you want to keep this on the latest one, and you want to make sure Create Profile has been selected. And once we're ready, you want to click on Install. After a couple of seconds, this will install Fabric, and you'll get this pop-up. So you want to click on OK, and now we can close out of the Fabric Installer. Now Fabric has been installed, we just need to go ahead and install the Fabric API, and the corresponding mods we downloaded earlier. So to do this, you want to open your Minecraft Launcher, and then you want to select installations at the very top and you should see the new fabric installation. If you don't see this, you may need to restart your Minecraft launcher. From here, you want to click on the file icon next to the fabric loader version. 
and this will open your Minecraft installation folder. So from here you want to find the mods folder and if you don't have one you want to click on the circle icon at the top and click on new folder and you want to rename this to mods. Once we've done this you want to click into it and now you simply want to drag and drop the fabric API and your mods that we downloaded earlier into the mods folder. Once we've done this we can exit out of the file installation folder and now we can go ahead and start playing Minecraft with our fabric mods. So to do this you want to click on the play tab and then in the release version you want to make sure you are selected on the fabric loader version. Now we've done this you want to click on play. Once Minecraft has opened, if you've installed Fabric and the mods correctly, it will say your Minecraft version full slash Fabric and modded in brackets. Now to install the shaders, we need to click on Options, and then you want to click on Video Settings. From here, you should see the Shader button in the top right hand corner. If I extend my window here, we should see it a bit more clearly. So you want to click on that, and then you want to click on Open Shader Pack Folder. Once this is opened, we simply need to drag and drop the shaders we downloaded earlier into this folder. Now we've done this, we can exit out of the folder, and when we go back to Minecraft, it should be listed. So you want to click on it, and then you want to click on Apply. Now our Minecraft shaders have been applied. If you want to go through the shader settings, you want to click on Shader Pack Settings, and here you can change the shader pack settings. So now we've done this, we can click on Done, and then you can change your sodium settings here if you'd wish to do so. Now we've done this, we can go ahead and start playing Minecraft with our shaders. So you want to click on done and go back to the main menu. And then we're going to click on single player and we can start playing with shaders just as we normally would. So as you can see, I've just generated a new Minecraft world and the shaders are fully working as intended. And that's it. So if this video is helpful, please leave a like. And if you have any questions or comments, you can leave them below.